person. This person is me. <laughs> I love monkeys. The most amazing blazer. Hey everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out and today I'm back with another thrift haul. I know it's been a while, I've totally missed you guys, but I've been accumulating some great things from Goodwill, so some awesome prints, great accessories, and I even have an epic blazer moment. You guys are going to die, it's amazing. So I literally cannot wait to share everything with you, so we're going to go ahead and jump on into the haul. So first up from Goodwill is this adorable cosmetic bag. You guys know why I was drawn to it. It's black and white and it's got hearts all over it. Like could it be any cuter? So of course I had to pick it up. I can always use bags like this to put within my tote bags or my purse or my work bag just to keep everything nice and organized. But I was really happy to see that this is made by a company called Mixed Bag Design. So they do only 100% recycled items. So I think that is amazing and I'm so happy to own something like that. And I may even go and check out their website just to see what else they offer. I'm just kind of curious, but I was really happy to come across this one and it was a little over a dollar. So in a recent haul, I shared with you guys that I found a really cool silk scarf while I was out on a thrift crawl trip. And I didn't know anything about it, but oh my gosh, in the comments, you guys made sure to let me know that it was a Vera scarf which I guess is a pretty well-known designer, but you guys were all very excited that I found it, thought it was really cool. Well, guess what? I found another one. So I actually came across this little baby at Goodwill, and of course I was just drawn to it because it's striped, it's got black and white, and then the red and white stripes here. So I picked it up, and as I was kind of checking it out, I came across the Vera logo. So I just got so excited, and I thought of all of you guys, that helped me kind of put the pieces together <laughs> to let me know what I actually had. So I thought that was really cool. So for a little over $3, of course I had to bring it home with me. So next up are a couple of purses that I scored and the first one that I got literally just puts a smile on my face every time I look at it. So what I'm talking about is this sunshine yellow little vintage bag. Oh my God, is it not just the most cheerful thing you've ever seen? I can't even. So it's just this really cool kind of wicker material purse. There's no tag inside, so I don't know when or where it's from, but that did not stop me from picking it up. I really just cannot wait to rock this this spring and summer and just see how I can style it. But it just made me happy and it makes me smile every single time I see it. So it was a great purchase and it was only four bucks. So the other purse that I found is actually something that's been on my thrift wish list for a while. So the thrift gods must have been looking down upon me the day that I found it. So I'm so excited. So what it is, is this black quilted bag with the chain strap here. Very Chanel-esque, obviously. And I've been seeing it. I mean, every celebrity has one in some color. So I've been seeing it forever. But you know, Mama is never going to pay the $2,000 to get the original so I'm gonna have to settle for the thrifted version and that is A-OK -okay with me. <laughs> so I'm so happy to find this one. I think it is so chic and classic. It's in great condition and I honestly cannot wait to wear it. So next up are the cutest pair of shoes ever, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm done. So what they are are these super cute little Chase and Chloe very pinup style T-strap heels. Like I cannot with these. They are so perfect to go with my entire pinup vintage inspired wardrobe that I have. So I was so excited to come across them and I was just praying as I was coming up to them, please be a seven and a half, please. Seven and a half, and lo and behold, that's what they are, so they fit perfectly, and I know I'm gonna wear them so much. So, before we get into the clothes that I found at Goodwill, I wanted to share some scrapbook planner items that I found that I'm so excited about. So, the first thing that I got is this pack of alphabet letters. So they come in tons of different colors and patterns, and it looks like pretty much everything is accounted for, even though the package is open. There's so much to choose from. So that was $3.50, and I know I can use this for so many different projects. You can use them for greeting cards, or to mark something in your planner if you're really excited about it, vacation, a party, something like that. So really the possibilities are endless, so of course I had to pick that one up. And then the other thing that I got, oh my god, so freaking cute. 
So they are these little um, chipboard sets. So the first one here is by Maggie Holmes, which if you guys aren't familiar with Maggie Holmes, her style is just perfection. Like it's a little quirky, it's fun, it's whimsical. How many more cute words do I need to use? It's fun, I love it. So I saw this one and I think what sold it for me was this girl over here. Yeah, she's wearing a bow in her hair, glasses, a pearl necklace, a polka dot skirt, and she has a camera in her hand. I am this person. This person is me. <laughs> like I saw that and I was like, yep, I'm getting it just for that one piece right there. So, so excited about that. And that one was $1.50. And then also, I found this one. I don't think that this one is by um, Maggie Holmes, but it is by Crepe Paper. But it's kind of this summertime theme. So there's a few of them missing, but still enough to make it worth it. There's this cute little scooter and an ice cream truck, and it just says summer there. So honestly, these things are just so fun and cute and just get my creative juices flowing when I see them. So I get so excited to come across those things at the thrift store and cannot wait to use them to make some fun goodies. So next up are the clothes that I found at Goodwill. And even though I didn't find a ton of stuff, I am really excited about the items that I did score. So the first thing that I got, speaking of my fondness for polka dots, is this really cute black and white polka dot tank top by The Gap. And you can see it has the original tag on it for $39.95, but I scored it at Goodwill for a hot $2.99. Like that is so exciting to me. And of course, there's so many ways that I can wear this. It just made me so excited to see a white item without a stain on it. Like it's brand new and it has polka dots. Yeah, I needed it. <laughs> So next up is this really pretty floral top that looks kind of like a tunic top. I think wearing it with some skinny pants or leggings would be totally appropriate. But I just fell in love with the print and the colors. They are so gorgeous. They just scream springtime. But just you wait until you guys see these sleeves. Oh my god. <laughs> they are here. They want your attention. They're going to bump into stuff along the way. And that is A-OK -okay with me. <laughs> I needed this top in my life and I'm happy to say it is super soft and I found that out because it's a double brush poly fabric thank you to my sister shout out to Shauna for letting me know that it's the same material that they make LuLaRoe leggings out of which is why people love them so much because they're super soft so that's what I love about this one it feels really soft and comfortable but you look really pulled together Love it. Like, I'm so here for it. So for less than seven bucks, of course I had to pick it up. So next up is this awesome tank top that just says woman in many different languages. And I've been on the hunt for kind of a feminist top or just something with some kind of slogan across it. I'm always on the hunt for that. So when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. I love just how simple it is, but it still makes quite the statement. So I'm so here for it. Cannot wait to rock this one. And it's only $2.99. All right, friends, I think at this point, you understand a few things about your girl Katie, right? We understand I'm a little quirky, a little weird. Uh, I love thrifting. That should be a given. I love black and white anything, stripes, polka dots, those fun prints. And I love a weird print that just makes you go, Am I really seeing that? So that's kind of what this next top made me do. So what I'm talking about is this Ann Taylor blouse that has this beautiful palm leaf kind of tropical theme to it. But then look closer, friends. Yeah, those are monkeys frolicking about. And not just monkeys. Look on the back here. Look at our little, our little giraffe friend just hanging out. Like I literally, <laughs> I think I just looked at this a few times. I was like, oh, what a pretty bl Those are monkeys. Like, what? And I love that it's like this career woman top that you can wear to the office and look super powerful, but you can still maintain the quirk. And that is so what I'm here for and what I'm all about. So of course I had to get it. It was just a no-brainer and it was less than $5 hairs. Yum! 
So last but not least for this Goodwill haul is the most amazing blazer. And I know, recently I shared with you guys a really cool houndstooth blazer that I was totes in love with, and I still am. I do love it, but this blazer kicks that blazer's butt, and you guys are going to see why. So what I'm talking about, oof, I mean. So it's just this black, kind of oversized blazer. It's from Henry Bendel, New York, so it's real fancy. But what totally drew me in and what sent it over the edge are these little lace-up details here on the shoulder and then also on the back. It just screams badass, 90s, amazing. I just, I died a little when <laughs> I saw this one and it was kind of on a lark that I found it because I was trying things on in the fitting room, wasn't having any luck, so then I went to put my stuff back on the go-back rack, saw this baby, snatched it up real quick <laughs> and tried it on and just fell in love like it is just so cool on so many levels and this is what gets me so excited about thrifting because you can't find something like this in the stores right now like this only existed at a certain time and now it's come back around and found its way into my arms and I am so happy about that so of course I had to take it home with me I cannot wait to style it up it's just amazing on so many levels and it was less than seven bucks yeah. <laughs> Alright you guys, so that's going to do it for everything that I found at Goodwill recently. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to let me know what your favorite item was or how you would style some of these items in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. And as always, thanks for watching and happy thrifting. Bye!